tell me more about uh, what you had to research for this year. Our oh, work. Okay, who wants to talk about that? Michael, you come up close and talk to me. He's going to come up close and talk to you real quick. Okay. We are fishing about needles being contaminated and most of the things that have happened to it has to do with egg noodles and wonton noodles which have salmonella in the eggs inside of them. So we've been researching salmonella and eggs a lot lately and our um, <laughs> we haven't got that much done yet. Yeah. We're working on our skit this weekend. Cool. Well, that's a very cool thing to research because there's been a lot of these like rice slash thought experiments where if you take rice from the top, apparently it won't be contaminated and it will mean something like happiness. But if you take rice from the bottom of the pot, then it may be contaminated and it may mean sadness. It also goes along with this whole thing, like, if you cast positive or negative thoughts, then it may contaminate it, when really the whole thing is that there's more bacteria at the bottom of the pot, or, you know, so some scientists say. So that's really cool that you're researching that. So for Harry's questions, uh, he asked, have you considered adding sensors to your robot? I was a four-year competitor and, and am now a ref for my area's competition, and that is the single best piece of advice I can give you. Using sensors to detect what is on the field equals win. Try to make your navigation based on as little aiming as possible. So. Yeah, our, our assistant coach over there, he's... he's He's a big uh, line sensor or light sensor pusher lately. We've been trying to talk. It's kind of weird with this robot because last year we used a light sensor, and this robot is kind of like we it's a single drive system. So we're trying to figure out how we can use a light sensor with this single drive system. It's, so, it's not really possible to follow a line like it is with a more traditional setup where you've got a motor on each wheel. You can go back and forth. So maybe we'll just, uh, we're just, we're still trying to figure out how we can possibly use a light sensor. Oh, interesting. That, that makes me wonder, does it, do you think you're going to lose some advantage without a sensor or, um, or do you think dead reckoning will just be okay? Last time we used a sensor, it just messed us up. Well, I mean, that was sort of the problem where we were. It was detected in black lines. It was a long black How How exactly did it mess up? So, we're supposed to basically go forward until the sensor detected the black line, but it ended up detecting like a different black line. And then just spinning in circles for some reason. We never really figured out what was causing spinning in circles. Ah, okay. So we have more testing and development. We're going to, we're going to try our best to get some sensors on there before we get to the tournament and cool. use the sensor as one of the tasks. Cool. Very cool. Um, <laughs> someone in the chat asks Can you use a laser mouse sensor? <laughs> Unfortunately, this yeah, is just yeah. first Lego League, so we can use two sensors. We can use uh, three servos. There's six sensors legally that we're allowed. There's yeah, two sensors. light sensors. No, they, they, there's, it's not a restriction on what payment sensor is here. It's just six sensors blocked. Right. Cool. There's only four sensor ports on the room. <laughs> Very cool. Well, um, I wish you all the best of luck for this season. I hope you win a lot, and hopefully you'll learn a lot, too. Thanks for showing your robot. 
Oh, and one more question. Um, are you using NXTG to program the robot? We are, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for letting us come, and, and we really enjoy seeing the development on the RoboBird, and uh, we look forward to creating our own RoboBird one day. <laughs> yeah, totally. I I definitely want to make Roverd um, more like other people can build it sort of thing. <laughs> Very cool. I'll, well, I'll keep you posted on the Roverd. And where can we find out more about your team? Do you have a website that people can look at? Yes, our website. Uh, lag. Oh no. Uh uh, we also, yeah, actually on, on our website you can actually, it's connected to our Facebook page and anything we put on our Facebook page is connected to our Twitter. Cool. Oh, yeah. Um, the video. Oh, we have time. We have time. Do you have a video? Yeah, we have a, our first video. I don't know how we... Uh, I think share screen is the button we click, then they get to see our screen. Okay, I'll Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, it seems to work now. <laughs> choppy I guess because it's going through the internet and then through the internet and then through the internet but um, I'll definitely post the link for people to look at it later thank you so much <laughs> no problem thanks for going to the robot party <laughs> bye bye <laughs>